Hey guys, my name is Tamash, but you can call me TSB. Recently I was upgrading a PC for a friend, and since he was getting a 3000 series CPU from AMD, I had to flash a BIOS, and uh, to do that I needed a CPU uh, from either the 1000 or 2000 series, and obviously the 1200 was the cheapest solution, so I figured that, hey, let's get a, a 1200 CPU. And since I had it on hand, I figured that, hey, I might as well uh, run a bunch of tests uh, between my current CPU, the 3600, and the one of the first and most basic uh, iterations or versions of the uh, Zen microarchitecture, that's the 1200. So let's get into the numbers. I have selected five games that have decent benchmarks, and I do actually own. Assassin's Creed Origins, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Grid 2, and GTA 5. Note that the selected games are all powered by a different engine. So let's start with the numbers for the Ryzen 3 1200. I have uh, used the default rate stealth cooler. These numbers represent the out-of-box performance you'll get with a 1660 Ti graphics card at 1080p. The only thing I have replaced is the thermal compound since I was not sure how long that particular processor actually sat on a shelf. I have removed the thermal compound already present on the cooler and replaced it with a Noctua NTH1 thermal paste. To remove one unknown from the testing, I have used the same thermal paste across the testing. So enter the Ryzen 5 3600, again I use the RAID Stealth Cooler which comes with the CPU. The fun bit is that both of these parts have the same TDP of 65 watts, so I have the same cooler. Uh, the difference is that the 1200 is, is a 4 core 4 thread part, the 3600 is a 6 core 12 thread part. The Anvil Nex 2.0 engine is greatly optimized for increased core and thread count. This is nicely illustrated with a huge uplift of 56% for Assassin's Creed Origins. While the experience is rather choppy with the 1200, the 3600 manages to keep the frame rate smoothly above 60 frames per second. Since the same engine powers Assassin's Creed Odyssey, a similar performance can be expected in the title as well. Note that the result of Assassin's Creed Benchmark is an integer without a decimal point. This makes the calculation of the standard deviation somewhat tricky as all four runs of the benchmark provide the same integer and thus no standard deviation. I hope that the future versions of the benchmark improve the precision by adding decimal digits. Next up, we have the representative of the Unity game engine with Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. The game benchmark is a static pass over a garage full of cars. This is fairly typical of the general game experience and therefore a title which should be limited more on the GPU side of things. A very minute increase of two frames means that if this is the type of game you play, it makes much more sense to upgrade your graphics card than to spend on a stronger CPU. I was slightly disappointed with the average FPS numbers from Rise of the Tomb Raider, as we have only gained about 11%. Given that the 3600 operates at a frequency that is at least 16% higher, I have expected more from the newer part. However, what is hidden by the average numbers is the frame rate floor. The benchmark fell below 10 FPS several times with the 1200, but remained above 45 FPS at all times with the 3600. This tells me that the 3600 does a much better job at keeping the graphics card fed than the 1200. Grid 2 is an older title running on the Ego engine. This engine is still used at the time of recording for all racing titles from Codemasters. The benchmark here performs a one-lap race simulation with 8 AI cars. The drivers, along with the spectators and simulated physics, scale nicely with the added threads with a massive 62% performance gain. While at least on the average FPS front we are in a similar situation as with the Rise of the Tomb Raider, the minimum observed FPS remains above 60 frames even with the 1200. Thus it is difficult to recommend an upgrade away from the 1200 based on the merits of this title. With a 37% gain, the results in GTA 5 are most in line with what I have been expecting. Similarly to Rise of the Tomb Raider, I wholeheartedly recommend upgrading to the 3600 due to a much smoother experience. That's it for the out of the box testing, but I have one additional thing I wanted to do for a long time, and that is to test my cooler that I had for a long long while now. It's uh, the Noctua NH-C14, it's a C-type top flow design, uh, which means that uh, the cooler makes like a C-shape. 
The specific design of the cooler allows for mounting of two fans that come with the cooler itself. These are both 140mm fans, uh, which can run at a variety of speeds. You might have noticed from the video that I'm actually running just one fan. Uh, this is what's called the high clearance mode. I had to resort to this mode due to the proximity of the memory sticks to the CPU socket. Since I like my rig nice and quiet, I use the ultra low noise adapter, which brings the speed of the fans down from 1200 RPM to 750 RPM, and they are really, really quiet. You can barely hear the system running. If you have a graphics card that supports a zero RPM mode, the entire system is extremely quiet. The specific configuration is, in my opinion, the worst possible combination for this specific cooler from the performance perspective. So let's see how it performs. Starting off with Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, we have lost a couple of frames. The benchmark in Assassin's Creed Origins produces very consistent numbers. Therefore, I have a high level of confidence that these numbers are accurate and that we are actually losing a couple of frames. Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 shows the same trend, uh, we are losing half of a percent. It's barely visible though with the naked eye, so this is pretty much a wash. Rise of the Tomb Raider follows the same trend, but again, like we are within the same frame, so the loss is actually quite negligible. With Grid 2, for the first time, we have lost more than two frames, but again, like we are above 150 frames. This is not noticeable with the naked eye. GTA 5, very similar situation, we are losing almost 2 frames, but again, this is not noticeable to the naked eye. I wouldn't have been able to discern the difference from the performance perspective between the RAID Stealth and the NHC14 cooler in the ultra low noise configuration. So with all the numbers, the trend is pretty noticeable, we are losing a couple frames here and there with the NHC14 cooler, however the noise is greatly reduced from the stock cooler and that's the reason. I I'm, I'm pretty happy that it actually performed this well, given how terribly I stocked all the odds against the cooler by removing one of the two fans and moving to the ultra low noise configuration. While the cooler technically lost in performance, audibly it is a major improvement over the Raid Stealth cooler and I'm still happy that I have this relic from my past. Now that I think about it, the, the cooler is actually the oldest part <laughs> that's uh, in my build. I was running it since the Haswell days, that's ancient, ancient history. That's the 4000 series, way back when, with Intel, so it must be Gish, what, like 2014, 2015? And uh, actually I had a bracket for the AM4 socket mailed uh, for free uh, upon uh, providing a proof of purchase to Nakchua, uh, which was actually nice. Uh, rusty old cooler that I have no reason to switch and I'm still happy with it. So to sum up the entire video, the only two games where I would say that the 1200 is still okay is the Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 and Grid 2. Even the minimum performance the 1200 showed in both titles I would still recommend upgrading the GPU first uh, before upgrading the CPU. Assassin's Creed Origins is actually the worst scenario. That game really loves to have more cores and more threats. Rise of the Tomb Raider and uh, GTA 5 both suffer from incredible inconsistencies in frame time. While the averages uh, seem nice, the actual footage or the actual experience from the game is rather choppy and I would recommend upgrading to the 3600 if you are still rocking the 1200 and thinking about the upgrade path. The games both definitely run much smoother with the newer part. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Feedback is always appreciated. Leave yours down below, then hammer that subscribe button. This is TSB, signing out. Bye! We'll